back to another video on my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing a ton of supplies from Josh's Frogs and it's going to be for a major upgrade for my green tree python. So I'm super excited to get into it. So I'm gonna start with this really tall box right here. So we have lots of paper. First thing on top is the Josh's Frogs Mood Moss. I absolutely love this stuff. I mention it in like every single one of my videos and I have to order it every single time because not only is it great for putting it into your naturalistic backgrounds just to add like more green, but it's also really good for just putting on the ground and putting on top of like the substrate. It just adds like a different texture which can be really good for enrichment. And then it also can increase the humidity when you spray down the enclosures and things like that. So I absolutely love this stuff. So next up we have tons and tons and tons of spray foam. So this is the Great Stuff spray foam and it is safe for your reptiles or amphibians if you want to do a naturalistic background. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these. Eight of Great Stuff. So I'm going to be set. I have a really big background because I'm upgrading from a 2x2x2 two by two by two PVC enclosure to a 4x2x2. Four by two by two. So it's gonna be a really, really big background, so I'm gonna need a lot of spray foam. And then along with the spray foam, we're going to be needing silicone, which this is the black silicone you can kind of see on the bottom. So this stuff, I really like the black the most, especially when doing backgrounds, um, because some people use white and the white just stays white. So if you don't fully cover it, you can still see the silicone. But if you're using the black and I'll be putting dirt on top of it, even if you still see a little bit of black, it still looks more naturalistic. So I think that the black just overall looks so much better when you're doing a background. So I highly recommend using this stuff. And I have, I believe, eight of these as well. So there's a lot of spray foam and silicone. Last time I did a project, I was a little short on both and it was really stressful. So I wanted to make sure that I like really have enough this time. So then tucked into the little corner over here, we have some terrarium moss. And this is what it looks like. The packaging is super cute. There's like all these really great pictures on it. Um, so I have two of these. Oh my goodness, I'm getting little flakes. Um, but yeah, this just for more enrichment and just for decorating. I love adding different textures through my enclosures. So I don't even have like a full plan on exactly what I'm going to do. I kind of just play it by ear and like decide things as I'm building. So I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to put this, but I know I'll eventually find a spot. I just need to like be there visually and like as I'm setting it up, then I kind of get the ideas. But I thought that this would be a good thing to add. Next up, we have this giant hide. So what is this called? This is called the Mossy Dome Hide. I'm going to take it out of this bag so you can fully see it. I have had a ton of people ask me about this because I have some in my other enclosures and people are like, where did you get that from? They're from Josh's Frogs. And they are, they come in, I think, two or three different sizes. And this one is the large one. So it looks like this dome and there's like a little, it's actually made of wire you can kind of see inside of it, but it really holds the moss together. So these are really, really durable. And my snakes absolutely love these, especially my ground dwelling snakes, like my ball pythons. And Bowie, it's so crazy. Like this size is pretty big, it's a large, but Bowie is huge and she will literally tuck her entire body in this hide, like she loves it. So obviously a green tree python is an arboreal snake. So I don't know, I figured I'm just gonna try it out and see if she does utilize it. Um, if not, oh well, but like it is a little bit rough too. So even when she's shedding, it'll be good for her to like have something a little bit rough to rub on. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I think that this, it's just an idea, another form of enrichment. So it's like, why not? We have some of my favorite, favorite things of all time. I'm gonna try and pull them all out. So these are all jungle wood and I've talked about this in the past. I absolutely love this stuff. So I have decided I'm going to actually be using these as Metamore's new perches. So I'm going to be hopefully able to like carve into the spray foam uh, like a little nook in order to hold all of these. 
that way they will be removable and if she's on a branch I can just easily take it out of the enclosure and take her out of the enclosure that way I can like clean and do things like that so that is like my number one like thing that I need to be sure of with this enclosure is that the perches are removable and these are really great because they have a really good texture to them they feel very naturalistic they look naturalistic and they are just stunning so I see so many people with green tree pythons just using like a PVC pipe and I used to do that it's not aesthetically pleasing it just doesn't look good um, so this just will look so much better and they have all of these really cool curves to them so yeah I'm just super excited to use these this one has like a little twig hanging on it like that's really cool and just naturalistic and then again like these would be so great for just rubbing on in order to get shed off so just super excited I'm gonna hopefully be able to find like placement in the enclosure that's not going to be super awkward with these but very excited to get these in there they also I believe I got two different sizes for these I think they come in like 24 and possibly 36 inch long um but they also have a white option which I have used for Willie my panther chameleons enclosure and I love the white option too but I decided to go with the brown option for this and then we have one other thing in this box so I'm super excited uh this is my first Arcadia UVB so I want to be able to light up this entire enclosure since it's going to be four by two by two right now she just has a heat bulb in her two by two by two and that lights everything up but I'm adding live plants and things and honestly it's beneficial to add UVB whenever you can so I'm finally going to be giving her some UVB and I'm finally using the Arcadia brand which I have been dying to use. I feel like they're always sold out but I finally was able to get my hands on one. So this is the Shade Dweller one so it should be perfect for Metamora. I'm going to save this one for last because it has tape on it as you can see that it says that there's insects and live plants in here so this is definitely going to be the one that has live plants. So we're going to wait on that one. I believe that this box is probably going to be the substrate because it's super heavy and I did order a lot of substrate and every single time I get this question like probably every single week everyone is always asking me what substrate I use and every single time the answer is Josh's Frog's bio bedding I just ever since I used it I can't use anything else like it is just the perfect blend of all of the things needed for any type of snake or lizard um, depending on like what I feel like I have mainly tropical animals that do require higher humidity so I find that the Joshua Sprogs bio bedding is just like the perfect substrate for high humidity animals and if you're using live plants the best thing about this substrate is that it has a built-in drainage layer and everyone always asks me they're like why don't you have a drainage layer I don't need it with this bio bedding so it's like the best thing ever it just makes my life easier don't have to do the drainage layer but this is what the bag looks like it's really big you get a lot in here I think this is $19.99 on the website um, and yeah it has the built-in drainage layer it's really good with humidity and it has a lot of different things in here and components that are good for if you are going bioactive to keep the isopods and springtails alive they also have the desert one too that has some sand in it so if you have like a bioactive bearded dragon that would be perfect for that animal all right so moving on to the last box super excited for this one and it was I think delayed one day so hopefully the plants will be okay they normally are so so we have this big lid so right on top what is this this is new no way you guys this is so cool I don't know <laughs> I'm like so shook by this so this is something I've never seen before and it's actually used to keep the package warm and it's biodegradable and you just dump the liquid out and it says it's a uh, ecotherm is what it's called and it says it's a phase change shipping pack that is designed to help keep temperatures stable during shipping the product has a high specific heat it takes a lot of energy for it to change temperature and turns from solid to liquid at 76 degrees Fahrenheit 
Ecotherm shipping packs will help buffer temps when using ice or heat packs and help avoid extreme temperature swings during shipping. How cool is that? That is so cool. I've never seen anything like this before. I, you know what? Josh Frogs, you guys know what's up. Like, that is so cool. And it literally feels warm to the touch. Like, wow. My, my mind is just blown by this. That was really, really cool. So then right on top, besides that little mind-blowing thing, um, we have some Springtail and Isopod care sheets which is really, really nice and helpful. Please, the light is like going straight through these. So I don't know if you guys can see, but um, they always do little care sheets and things like that, which is just so great. Um, and then we have the receipt and then we have a heat pack. So I don't know if the heat pack just works with this thing. I am very intrigued. This is very, very cool. And the heat pack is like still super warm. So then right here, we have this cute little container and this is Dwarf Tropical White Isopods and there's 25 in here. We're gonna make this a bioactive enclosure, obviously. Um, and then we have some temperate springtails, which are in here in this container. And then we have this other batch of springtails. And I really love this stuff. It comes in charcoal that's moist. So if you don't want to use like the entire thing, like this works great and you can save it in this and just add some water, make sure it stays moist and the springtails will stay alive. So I'm probably going to dump like half of this in the enclosure and then save this for half of my crusty gecko enclosure. And with the charcoal, you can literally dump it into the substrate, especially if you're using the Josh's Frogs bio bedding because it already has some charcoal in it. So you just like mix it into the substrate and then the substrate will keep the isopods and springtails alive and you're good to go. So it's all just like, it makes your life so much easier. And they have kits on the Josh's Frogs uh, website as well, where you can just buy like a whole bioactive kit, which is really, really cool. So now we're gonna be moving on to opening up some live plants. I have no idea what these are. So I'm gonna be just as surprised as you guys. The bag just feels moist. So I already know like the plants, it's already looking perfect. So I don't know if there's a label for this one. I'm not seeing a label, but it does look like some type of fern. And it is so pretty. Really, really like this one. I'm going to be putting all of the live plants at the bottom of the enclosure. I'm not gonna be putting them into the background anymore because I find that they do not stay alive. I don't know, maybe I'm cursed or I'm doing something wrong with the background plants but these are all just gonna be going on the ground and keeping the humidity up. I've seen this one before. Okay, this one, oh my Lord. Let's try and pronounce this, shall we? Um, spathophyllum? Spathophyllum, and also says mojo. So I'm not sure what that is. I can say mojo well, but here's the plant. It, again, perfect condition. And this one was delayed a day. So they package everything so well that like it, you really have no worries when it comes to getting live plants from Josh's frogs because they're always in great condition. They package them up so well and so much care goes into it. So really, really can't go wrong. Everything feels so moist, which is so good. Oh, well, this one's really, really pretty. Look at how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this one is Philodendron Macaulay's Finale. Interesting. But I love the colors of this one. It looks so shiny. It's again, like, it's, it's so crazy to believe that this literally shipped, like, in a box for a couple of days. Like, they just look so good. And then we have the last plant right here. Oh my goodness. I'm very curious what this one is. I've never seen one like this. It's so pretty. Oh, it doesn't have a label. If any of you guys know what this is, feel free to let me know. Look at how cool that is. It looks really delicate, but really, really pretty. Oh my goodness. I really like this one. So yeah. Those are all of the supplies that I got from Josh's Frogs. Thank you so much, Josh's Frogs, for sending me all of the supplies for this amazing setup. I'm so excited to get going on it. 
And then you guys should absolutely check out joshusfrogs.com and you can use my coupon code reptiliangarden15 and save 15% off your entire order. It is a one-time use only, so please use it wisely and make sure you are logged in as you use the discount code because if you're not logged in, it's not going to work. But I'm so happy. I cannot wait to get going on this setup and show you guys how it turns out. Please check out joshesfrogs.com. Thank you again so much, Josh's Frogs, and I will see you guys in the next video.